We got you loud and clear, man. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get started here. We'll start first with uh, our TV partner, Mick Schaefer with KSHB. Go ahead, Mick. Great, congratulations. Welcome to Kansas City. Just wondering your overall thoughts on uh, being selected by the Chiefs. And I think you overlapped with Orlando Brown one year down there in Norman. Your thoughts of pairing up with him again? Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I'm really close with Orlando. He's, you know, helped me a lot. He's mentored me a lot at my time at OU. So, uh, you know, just being able to be on a team with him, I'm really excited about it. And then be able to join such a great organization. You know, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Creed. Um, what were your conversations like with the Chiefs before the draft, you know, over the past month or so? I mean, could you get a feel that they had this interest in you? Yeah, you know, it was good. You know, I had a lot of conversations with a lot of teams. And, uh, you know, I, I felt it went really well when I talked to them. So, uh, you know, I knew what kind of organization I could get into if I came here. So I was, you know, as soon as I got that call, I was just so excited. And, I, you know, I'm ready to get to work. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Well, I said, welcome back to, uh, with Oklahoma, with Orlando, and now I'm back in it again. Shawnee, Oklahoma, man, shout out. Um, hey, when you were playing at Shawnee, I always remember your coach being talking about you as dirty, tough, and doing all the little things. Just how are you going to adapt to the NFL with the, the same philosophy, that country strong, toughness you bring to the table all the time? Yeah, you know, it's uh, something I've always played with, and it's something that, uh, you know, I think it's helped me win a lot of matchups. So, uh you know, I'm definitely, you know, excited to, you know, come in and, uh, you know, just start competing and uh, start helping this team get better. You know, I can't wait. Let's go next to Blair Kirkhoff. Go ahead, Blair. Great. I'm just wondering how um, uh, nerve wracking tonight was and, and what when did you start hearing that you might be drafted? Yeah, you know, it was definitely nerve wracking. Um, as far as when I was uh, going to be heard that I was going to get drafted, you know, uh, we knew it would be somewhere in the second round. That's what we were thinking. So uh, when I got the call, you know, it was a huge sigh of relief. And then, you know, I got the call from, you know, the best organization in the country. So, uh, you know, I, I was just so excited, so relieved. And uh, now I'm just so ready to get to work. Back to Pete Sweeney. Go to Pete. Great. Congratulations. Uh, you had an opportunity to work with now two starters in the NFL and Kyler and, and Jalen. How do you think that those experiences will benefit you now as you transition to uh, hopefully uh, being under center with Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, you know, I've gotten to, I've had the chance to play with some good quarterbacks at OU and, uh, you know, it's a big help for me. Uh, you know, just their leadership skills, everything like that, you know, it's helped me a lot uh, throughout my career. And, uh, getting to play with a player like Patrick Mahomes, you know, so exciting just because he's so talented, you know, he's such a good player. Uh, he can, you know, change the dynamic of a whole game. So I can't wait to, you know, get up there and uh, start working with the team. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Thank you. Congratulations tonight. Uh, you mentioned Orlando earlier. Just what do you think you learned most from him that's gotten you to this point, given your guys' relationship? Yeah, you know, just the uh, the mentality that he has every day that he carries on himself. You know, uh, he's a guy that's going to go in there. He, he's going to do the work that's necessary to get him to the next level he wants to be at. And that's something that I, uh, when I got to OU, that's something I admired right away from him when I met him. Uh, seeing him go in, you know, work uh, as hard as he can every single day, work hard in the weight room, during training, you know, during position drills and we were doing stuff on our own. And uh, just seeing him uh, do that and just the mentality that he has, and, you know, he's such a mean player on the field too. That's something I've always, you know, admired about him. It's something I've always tried to, you know, kind of copy my game after. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Creed, congratulations. Welcome to KC. Um, you know, the Chiefs are all, have been overhauling their offensive line this entire off season. And, and Andy Reid even mentioned earlier about the fact that there are going to be positions, including center, that are going to be open competitions. What is it about where you are right now that you feel like will help you winning and trying to win that center job right out of the gate? Yeah, you know, for me, uh, the type of player I am, you know, uh, wherever I'm going to be playing, uh, I'm just going to go in there and compete, and uh, I'm going to push myself to be the, to get to the next level that I can and get make myself better, and I'm also going to push guys around me to get better. So uh, really that's, that's all it is for me is just, you know, getting the team better in every way possible, you know, whether it's me, whether it's another person, you know, there's going to be uh, me in there trying to push everybody, uh, trying to get everybody to the next level they want to get to. Last one, Allie Trost. Go ahead, Allie. 
All right, Creed, you've said a lot about Orlando Brown. He's got the lucky foxtail. Do you have a lucky charm that you were holding on to tonight or anything that you're going to bring uh, before game day in Kansas City? Yeah, so uh, I have this gold necklace uh, uh, that I got. When my grandmother passed away, my grandpa had some of her uh, jewelry melted down and uh, made into a pendant for me. Uh, so I wear that uh, before every game, and uh, that's something that I'm going to carry with me. You know, it just means so much to me. Uh, I love my grandma so much, and she uh, she was the biggest fan I've ever had. So, uh, you know, that's something that I'm going I'm to carry with me uh, throughout my life. Creed, congrats again, man. We appreciate you taking the time, and hopefully we get to see you soon. Thank you so much.